a bit, it's a bit tough to stir. Her toes, isn't it lovely? What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be making something out of one of my cookbooks, actually from a place that I work at, it's called First Watch. It's a little breakfast place that I serve at and I figured I would make something out of their cookbook. Smoked salmon tzatziki toast. Really pretty, right? So I love salmon, so I figured this would be, this would be the perfect one for me to make. What you're gonna need is, for the tzatziki cream cheese, you're going to need two cups of whipped cream cheese, two tablespoons of English cucumber, two tablespoons of dill, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of chives, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and then for the smoked salmon toast itself, you're gonna need one slice of whole grain bread, um, eight thin slices of English cucumber, two ounces of smoked salmon, eight paper thin radish slices, sorry, I said that weird, <laughs> eight pieces of red onion, one tablespoon of feta cheese, two teaspoons of fresh dill, two basted eggs, I'm not gonna do the eggs, but you can if you want. Freshly chopped parsley, and then freshly chopped chives. And all of my vegetables are washed already, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna roll, fold it and roll it. I learned this from Gordon Ramsay's video. Just like that. Parsley tree here. I'm not a fan of uh, fresh parsley. It's not my favorite thing, but I figured I wanna follow the exact recipe today. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and chop it up. We are going to need some chives, as tightly as we can, just go ahead and chop some fresh chives, some radish. I cannot talk, I was about to say slicely thin it. Thinly slice the radish. I'm just gonna slice two. Beautiful. Let's put this aside. You guys still there? Don't leave. Don't cut out on me. <laughs> I believe it was one tablespoon. But I'm gonna go ahead and just juice the whole lemon. The lemons. Juice them with love. <laughs> okay. Everything is smelling so fresh. I feel healthier already just by smelling this stuff. Alrighty, perfect. See? How beautiful, beautiful green. Green and you got your radish, right? So now I need to slice up some cucumber, English cucumber. I lost my little spot, no. Oh, here we are. Okay, so for the cream cheese, I need two tablespoons of English cucumber diced into one fourth inch cubes. And then for the toast itself, I need eight thin slices of English cucumber. Go ahead and do some thin slices, especially with cucumber. It's difficult to slice, in my opinion. Ooh, this is smelling divine. Smelling so good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then just like that. That's good because this is for our cream cheese, so yeah. Now we're gonna focus on red onion because we need just a little bit of red onion. I believe it was eight slices. I'm actually gonna slice it off the camera and then we can start on our cream cheese, so yeah. Just sliced up some onions, very thin. Some thin slices of onion. Now we're gonna work on our tzatziki cream cheese. Go grab some kosher salt, which is the coarse Salt. So, oopsie, kosher salt. So I gotta save, save my spot. All right, so we're just going to a big bowl, just like this. And we're going to make our tzatziki cream cheese. Look at that marketing. Philadelphia has the best marketing. Okay, then our cream cheese. <laughs> it's a bit thick. Come on. There we go. Now we're gonna need two tablespoons of chives. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. One tablespoon of chives. 
put in a little bit too much, but that's okay. Two tablespoons of dill. So, boom. Two tablespoons of dill. And we need one tablespoon of lemon juice, which is about the size of the lemon that I juiced. So let's go ahead and put that in. And two tablespoons of the one fourth inch cubed cucumbers. Like that, perfect. That is perfect. And now we need kosher salt. One teaspoon. Ooh, that is some thick little grains of salt. Going to mash it a little bit because it's really thick. That lemon juice is really gonna thin this out, thankfully. So let's go ahead and stir this up. Ooh, it's smelling so good and so fresh. <laughs> so fresh. All right. All right, that is good. It's looking pretty good. It's a bit, it's a bit tough to stir, but it looks good, right? Try it. Mmm. Delicious. I mean, it's cream cheese. That is so good. Clean everything up a bit, and then we will start making our toast. So I forgot to add parsley, so a tablespoon of parsley, so sorry about that guys. So I just got one tablespoon. Gonna mix that in. Can't forget the parsley, although I kinda was wanting to leave it out because <laughs> I hate parsley, but we'll just hide it in there. I won't even know it's there. Perfect. Put one slice of multi-grain bread on the stove and just toast that up really quick. Got myself a nice slice of bread. Skillet. My handy dandy skillet. <laughs> this is this is what I use for. It's a bit loose. It's a little concerning. This is the one I use for like making toast and eggs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and okay guys, so have my toast here. Nice and toasty on both sides. Build this together. It's chunky, chunky cream cheese. Oh, we are going to put two ounces of our smoked salmon. Look at that little pouch. It's so cute. Carefully add our thin slices of salmon. Yum, fresh, fresh salmon. Okay, I'm gonna do one more little slice, just like that. Beautiful, lovely. Lovely so far. Oh, I did this wrong. Frick. We're supposed to put the cucumbers on the bottom. That's okay. I can I can do that still. It's supposed to go underneath. So if we can put the cucumber underneath, put the radish, the red onion, and then sprinkle some dill and a cheese over the top. Radish. I'm gonna make it look lovely. Look nice and lovely. Some feta cheese over the top. Pull some dill over the top. Oops. Too much. Overdid it. Overkill. <laughs> Overkill. All right. You know what? It's fine. Here is our toast. Isn't it lovely? Smoked. I'm just gonna cut my toast. Mm hmm. So many flavors. Very fresh. Mm hmm. I mean, of course you get the cream cheese flavor. Um, the tzatziki, the tzatziki like flavor because of the dill, cucumber. Mmm. 
thin slices of red onion. This is a win, for sure. If you're not wanting something super heavy. Mmm. Very delicious. Messy but good. Water. It's a lot going on, but it all works together. It's very good. It's very tangy, um, fresh. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So messy. Guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.